Okay, another optimization question here. We are making a box. There's no lid, it's an open box um, out of a rectangular piece of cardboard. And we've got a certain measurement of the cardboard. We started these, this sort of uh, thing back in grade nine, didn't we? So what you're thinking of is we've got a piece of cardboard and I'm cutting the little corners out and then that will be my base. Uh, there's a length and a width, and I don't know how much to cut out. So that's my unknown. Clearly I can have a box that is tall and skinny, or a box that is short and fat, um, but we want to maximise the volume because this dude is uh, putting his Easter eggs in them and he wants lots of, lots of Easter eggs. So every single optimization thing, you are going to eyeball what you want to minimise or maximise. So here, we're maximizing volume, so, which is, so all of a sudden we know that we're gonna to wanna to differentiate volume, set it equal to zero and get some answers, but we've got a bit of work to do before that. Volume is the area of the base, which is length times width. Uh, this length will be, uh, that was 16, and that's x, and that's x, so it's 16 minus 2x. Uh, the width will be, how wide was it? 10? If that's 10, and I've come in, I don't know, and I've come in x, there's two x's, so it's gonna be 10 minus 2x. And then the height, is, well, this X, because they're going to be folded up. There's my volume. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just see what that expands to. You're going to expand that manually, but I don't have enough room. So I've just got a handy-dandy calculator here. Right. So... You can see here clearly that we've got a cubic. So I have no idea what it looks like. Here's my volume and here's my X. We're gonna get a big volume and a small volume um, because clearly as the X changes, I'll get tall, skinny ones, short, fat ones, you name it. And I want the one with the biggest one. So I wanna find this X right there. And I'm going to do that by differentiating and finding where that flat, flat spot is. So let's differentiate that. Uh, when I set that equal to zero, let's divide everything by four. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll solve that. <clears throat> 120, I get to need a negative answer, so they're both going to be negative. Let's go with 20 and 6. 6 twos are 12, so that will be 3x squared. Excellent, skip a page. And what comes out of that? That will be a We were expecting two answers. Because remember, we're going to get two flat spots on a cubic. So we, we, we needed two answers. Um, see this one here? 
that is uh, six and two thirds. Three sixes are eight, yep. Six and two thirds, and that's two. Uh, that marries in quite well with this as well. Uh, you can see that the two comes first, and this must be the six and two thirds. Um, so let's just check what the question said. It said, what is the largest volume? So really, I guess we know our largest volume is going to happen where x equals 2, but let's verify. Let's uh, verify which is... We're going to do that through the second derivative. So there's my first derivative. I wonder if I can get it there so I can see it. So v double dash would be 24x. Okay, back so I can see. And I'm wanting to put in a two. So v double dash of two will be 48. That's negative. Therefore, it's a, so I've mathematically determined that that is a maximum. I have also graphically verified that that is a maximum. Now all I need to do is to work out the maximum volume, and that happens where x is 2. Uh, what was my... I wish I could copy-paste on this thing. I'm, all I've got to do, this says volume equals, um, so does that. All I'm going to do is put 2 where that is. Um, <coughs> Definitely a calculator. Four eighths, 32 minus 52 times four. So therefore, maximum volume for Easter eggs is 144 centimeters cubed. Okay, that was fun, get into a